Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Bare Minerals Mineralist palette. So I have the Rosewood one and the packaging is super, super cute. It looks like a little notebook, this little strap around it. And this is what it looks like. So it's just a really simple six pan eyeshadow palette. And the shades in here are just so, so pretty. So I just wanted to try this palette out today with you guys and let you guys know what I think of it. So let's get started. So I did already prime my lids using a little bit of concealer. So before I start with any of the eyeshadows, I do want to just swatch a couple of these colors to kind of see how they come up. So I'm using the Burnt Rose shade, which is right here. It's kind of hard to get a good swatch with like the shape of the packaging. The shades are like dipped into the box, but it's super pigmented. It's just a nice matte neutral mauve color. Then we have the shade Wildflower, but that's what that shade looks like. It has a little bit more of a shine to it. So I'm just going to go in with a Morphe M433 brush and I'm going into the shade Primrose which is this matte nude color and I'm just going to place this all over my outer corner and crease. And now I'm going to go in with a Morphe M441 brush and go into the shade Blossom which is just slightly darker than the shade that we just used. And again I'm just going to place that all over the lid because I think I'm going to create more of a one shade eyeshadow look today. So I'm just dragging this color all over my crease and onto the lid a little bit. Now I'm going in with another Morphe M441 brush and I'm using that Burnt Rose shade, which is that matte shade that we had swatched earlier. I'm just going to place this all over the lid. I'm just kind of sweeping this color across. Using a Morphe M506 brush, I'm going to go into that same burnt rose shade and just drag that along my lower lash line. Going in with my Morphe M166 brush, I'm going into the shade Wildflower, which is that more shimmery shade. Just going to place that right onto the lid. I do think that the shades are blending nicely, but they're not really as pigmented as I would like them to be. And like that shade that I just applied to the lid, the shade Wildflower, that has a little bit of a, like a sheen to it. It really doesn't have that much of a sheen when you actually apply it onto the lid. I'm just going to go back in with my Morphe M441 brush. I'm going into this really dark matte shade, and I'm just going to lightly add some of this onto the outer corner of the eye just for a little bit more depth and definition. I'm going to use that same shade on a small angled eyeliner brush and just add some wings to the outer corners of the eyes. And then as always, I'm going to add some liner to my waterline and I'm also going to add some to my tight line as well. And then I'm just going to pop on some lashes from Kiss and also add some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Now moving on to the face makeup, I'm going to be using my Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer to contour my face. Then I am going in with some Kylie Cosmetics Translucent Powder on a damp beauty blender and just baking my face. Then I'm going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Batty on the Block Blush and just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and the tip of my nose. And then using a powder brush, I'm just dusting all of this off. So now before I apply my highlighter, I'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow palette with this dark brown shade and just line the inner corners of my eyes. So in this palette, there is a highlighting shade. It's this marigold highlighting shade right here. I don't know how this is going to come up as a highlight. I'm going to be using a Morphe M431 brush, and I'm just going to apply this 
right onto the inner part of the lid. So it's a very subtle, natural highlight. So just placing that there. And then I'm also going to bring it up onto the brow bone. I'm going in with my Kylie Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Ice Me Out, and I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. And then for lips today, I'm using my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF and lining my lips with this. And then for lips, I'm using my Kylie Cosmetics 24 Karat Birthday Collection Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade To More Life. And this is the finished look. Overall, I would say this palette is probably not a must-have. You can get these shades in a lot of other palettes, even drugstore palettes, and I just wasn't too blown away with the pigmentation of them, but it is definitely a very wearable palette, very good for every day, but it's not going to give you that overly pigmented eyeshadow look. So yeah, I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell button to turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.